Okay, so this is going to be our start point for the Swanton Morley to Ling paddle. Um, nice, easy entry, and then we'll head down this way. Um, it's a little bit wild, the first bit, and there's one log which you really need to get low down on the board to get under. Uh, then it goes to a really nice section, which I call the Lazy River, which is perfect for a beer on a sunny day, just gently bounce off the sides. Uh, and then there's a bit of a contentious bit in the middle, which I'll talk about. Uh, and then the other side of that, uh, really beautiful through some fields until finally we arrive in Ling. So this is the start of the paddle, getting away from the bridge a bit here. Um, some really cool stuff actually, I love this building. It's just such a cool little thing to have in your garden. Okay, so we're coming up to really the only obstacle on this bit, uh, or the whole river actually, which is just a log underneath the water. Just gonna bump your mat. And it does require, as you can see, a little bit of getting underneath. So you do need to go down on the board, um, which not everyone is going to like. Hence, including it in the video. Try and do this without dropping the phone or bashing into anything, which clearly I'm going to do. Okay, there we go. So we're now at the, what I call the lazy river part of this route. Um, I'm just gonna chill for a bit and just let the river take us down gently bouncing off the sides. So we're about midway through the paddle here and this is the point that you can't actually get any further uh, without going onto this piece of land here uh, which you could in theory uh, get up here uh, however if it is private land then that would be trespass um, so what we are going to do instead um, is paddle all the way back get in the car, drive around to the other side, paddle up the river, and then I will show you what it looks like from the other side. Okay, so this is the other side. Uh, that drop there can actually get up to six to eight foot in summer. Um, there is also a field here which you could theoretically come across and gain, gain entry into the water there. Uh, I'm gonna post some clips in this video of the time I came here just before Christmas uh, when it was really misty just because it was just absolutely blooming beautiful. So I've remembered this bit, um, which is difficult to get through, let's just say. Uh, not impossible, but uh, difficult. So one option, which is the easiest option to be honest with you, is just to get out here uh, on the bank and around. Again, <laughs> this is someone's land. So if you did do that, that would be trespassing. Um, but if not, uh, you can go through here. This is the final bit, the end of the route. Um, you can get out on the bank here and then just straight across uh, and then back in the water again. Uh, I'll film it from the other side so you can see. That there, that platform is where you come through the wood and then you just go under this bridge and uh, that's the, the exit, the other side. Uh, as you can see, 
it says private fishing uh, there is actually a sign over there that says private property um, and it's all fenced off uh, obviously you're not on the property you're on the water uh, and you're not going into that private property area as signposted and fenced off once you're crossing from the river uh, to this area here however uh, you do still get fishermen uh, often down here uh, who will have a pop at you and say that it's private property and you're not allowed on the water and etc etc so uh, be aware of that